What's up everybody? Welcome back to Red Thorns Gaming. I've got Friday Night Fortress Siege. This is number 48 in the series here in Lineage 2 Revolution for you this evening. What a week. Wow. I wouldn't even know where to begin. The alliances have more or less solidified. There's still some minor changes going on here and there. But I've got one heck of a fight, potentially one heck of a fight for you tonight. It is a co-main event type of fight. I'm just throwing out a little sports terminology here. The other fight will be recorded by Miss Solo. And I'll point out the one that she's doing and leave a link to her channel down in the description below. I'd like to do a shout out to the members of Olympus and to the... The people, really, the people of Resistance. Uh, I managed to get into their Discord servers, and I do appreciate that. Uh, I'm looking to try to get into as many servers as I can of all these new clans that have fallen into the Lamel server. Try to help me out with that. Just hit me up on Discord. Send me, uh, you know, an invite if you want, or not. But a shout out to all of them. Shout out to my future ex-wife Taraki and to Kizzy. And to Eli Sussman, hashtag blame Eli. Let's get into it. All right, so the two clans that I will be recording are here at the number one and the number three. Yangair at number one, 313,094,489 combat power in totality for their clan. FSK, 309,306,096 combat power in totality. For their clan. Yangair, they were part of the old, one of the old Valakus servers that merged into the Starus one. I never managed to catch Yangair in a fight on the Starus server, mostly because they never fought. No one ever attempted to fight them. They were too strong at the time. FSK, coming from one of the other servers that merged into this Lamel one. So this is fantastic to be able to catch two brand new clans. Well, they're not brand new, but to catch two new clans in my my recordings. Let's take a look at what was paid. All right, so here is the one that Miss Solo is doing, Redemption versus ABC at. Apparently ABC was already taken, so they gave him an at sign. Hangire, FSK. FSK, this is such a low amount. 1,235,484 Dena for an SR Fortress? Really? I, my mind is blown. Maybe I was completely and utterly wrong about uh, how this was going to go down. But on a side note, the vast majority of these battles are actually real. There are so many real fights going on right now. It is insane. Some of them are not. Some of them are alliance versus, you know, their handoffs. Handoffs or bid blocks, whatever. And then I think there was one, yeah, this one here, Omega Squad. Nobody bid against them. So congratulations to Omega Squad for taking the S-grade fortress. Let's head into the battlefield. And we have Yangair in the blue on the top. The defenders. FSK in the red on the bottom. The attackers. We will be following FSK as I always do. However, we've got 3 minutes and 13 seconds and I will be back at 90 seconds before the battle begins. So, I will see you then. And we're back with 90 seconds before we begin. And there is Yangair's leader, Kirane. And I hope that's how you say it. I apologize if it is not. And by the way, look! A Holy Artifact Defense Tower. Two of them. So it looks like the bug was indeed fixed, which is fantastic. But well, let's head on down to the red team. Good luck to Yangair. And the red team has their Holy Artifact Defense Towers, which is phenomenal. We got 60 seconds before we begin. Looking for the leader of, there they are, Mob Enforcer. The leader of FSK. Wow, that was quick. That is fantastic. And there are Gate Defense Towers. It looks like that bug was indeed fixed. That is fantastic. So this should be one heck of a fight. And good luck to FSK. 10 seconds before we begin! 5 seconds before we begin. And here we go! Fortress Seeds number 48, Gengar versus FSK. And I'm looking at the imprint 
of the altars. It looks like they managed to make that a little bit bigger, in a way. Yangair, three seconds, interrupted. FSK trying to get theirs over halfway. FSK, three seconds, two seconds, one second, 10% buff for the next three minutes for FSK. Yangair just haven't fought in so long. I mean, they might be rusty. I don't know how, mu how, how much they fought uh, in the Valka server that they were in. But they sure as heck didn't fight in Staris. And Geyer trying again. And Geyer over halfway. And Geyer, two seconds, one sec. Oh, interrupted at the last second. Good interruption there by FSK. And for anybody wondering what FSK actually stands for, I have no clue. Leave a comment down below if you know what it actually stands for. And got interrupted. Got a little over halfway and then got interrupted. And got trying again. Over halfway. Interrupted. A lot of blue up here. FSK still managing to get in and interrupt them. And Geyer pulling away in the kill department though. Interrupted again. FSK only has 50 seconds remaining in, in their 10% buff. And Geyer interrupted again. And now, okay, there was a lot of red. Uh, but the blue respawned, came back. 30 seconds remaining in FSK's 10% buff. And guy are over halfway again. Can they make it this time? Three seconds, two seconds, one second. Oh my goodness! Interrupted with like a split tenth of a second left. That's gotta be annoying. FSK has lost their 10% buff now. Giving Yangai a little breathing room. Yangire, 10% buff for the next three minutes, and now the tables have turned. FSK over halfway, but here comes the flood. Interrupted. By the way, FSK is part of the Resistance Alliance. Yangire, part of Party. FSK, their turn to be over halfway. And 10% buff for the next three minutes for FSK. Doing what Yangair couldn't do. But there goes the non-spawn gate of FSK. There's Kirani. Looking to try to come in here, maybe get a little one tenth, two tenths, three tenths of a second. The blue team and there they go. The the got a, got a couple of seconds there for sure. Well, 
Well, Yangair may not have fought in a long time, but they sure as heck don't look like it. 372 and counting kills versus 267 and counting. And have already broken through one of the gates. And working on the other one now. I'm gonna... There's like a big battle going on here. For a split second. Dang, I 45 seconds remaining in their 10% buff. going on around here at the well. 20 seconds remaining in Yangar's 10% buff. The blue team has started imprinting the holy artifact. The blue team has failed to imprint the holy artifact. And there goes Yangar's 10% buff. Yangar over halfway. Two seconds, one second, 10% buff for the next three minutes for Gangire. FSK, 17 seconds remaining in their 10% buff. Here comes the flood. That's too many down there, but they're getting some time, that is for sure. And that ends FSK's 10% buff. FSK finally trying to get there, but interrupted. Gangire got it down to seven seconds before winning this battle. That's a ton of time right there. FSK hasn't even broken through a gate yet. And there goes a Holy Artifact Defense Tower of FSK. Yangar, 30% buff for the next two minutes. Well, I'm sorry, two minutes for the next 56 seconds. Yeah. Not looking good for FSK. Yangires came here in a storm of blue. Eight seconds before Yangire wins this battle. Interrupted at six seconds. Yangar, their 30% buff is now over. The altar of earth imprinting has been reset. I don't know. I don't think I'm going to stay here for 
Couple of seconds. FSK is here. A lot of people. And despite that, Hirani still managed to sneak in and get more Holy Artifact imprint time. Gangire, two seconds, one second, 30% buff for the next one minute and five seconds. And here comes Yangire. And there is their leader. Oh, a Temple Knight. Another big push by Yangire. Looks like they're trying to win this fight. Goes Kirani. Interrupts it at nine seconds. The altar of wind has been reset. And guy is already getting FSK's altar. That 30% buff. And guy are three seconds, two seconds, one second, 30% buff for the next one minute, 32 seconds. And they're likely going to make another big push. Here they come. Ronnie looking for the the right moment to go through. And then they go. Or trying to at least, but ran into a, a wall of red right there. Guy with 25 seconds remaining in their 30% buff. And Guy are at 1,004 kills and counting to FSK 626. No, I don't. There's no point in doing that. Let's go over here. And that would be the other Holy Artifact Defense Tower of FSK. We are approaching the halfway mark of this battle, and Yangire is slow start, utter domination after that. I mean, they, they just have S FSK on their heels right now, playing just straight defense. There goes Kirane. Five seconds remaining. And Yangire is 30% buff, and that is now expired. 
And they are right there, trying to get it back. The altar of wind has been 30 percent buff for the next one and a half minutes for Gangire. Kirane just literally went down the side to get another second or so. I mean, FSK, they haven't even destroyed a defensive tower of one of the gates yet. Gangire is not letting them do a doggone thing right now. Except play defense. And that's just not going to win this fight. This is a unified front by Yangire right now. And there goes the spawn gate of FSK. Adding insult to injury here by Yangire. Who is here in force yet again. Meteor showered to interrupt that imprint. And Yangar has a 30% buff for the next one minute and seven seconds. Not a single... I mean, have they even done any damage to these towers yet? No damage to either one of these two towers. And no damage to the... Wow, that, that does not look good for FSK right now. The only thing that does look good is that they paid virtually nothing for this battle. And by the way, I was looking at the CP of some of the members between these two teams, and there were a couple that were not just a little bit over, but three or four hundred thousand over seven million CP individually. That is insane and phenomenal. Irani, trying again. FSK trying to interrupt uh, Yangire from getting that 30% buff for once. Maybe not for once. I wasn't there to see the rest of the time, but they were unsuccessful. The Yangire has a 30% buff for the next 1 minute and 8 seconds. And we will slide on down back into FSK's base. Then wait for Kirane to get another 3 to 4 seconds. There they go. Surrounded by red, doesn't give a darn. Throws up that invincibility. I mean, I, I... What are they, like 100 plus seconds? Probably 120 seconds ahead. And FSK can't even get a doggone defensive tower down. Whew! However, we are 10 minutes remaining in this battle, two-thirds of the way through. Yangire pretty much has the W in hand right now. 
I think it's going to take a bit of a miracle by FSK to win this battle. Yangire, 30% buff in the next 1 minute 32 seconds. Fifteen fifty one kills and counting versus eight hundred and seventy and counting. Whoo. Nine minutes remaining. Makes you wonder how things are going to change after this weekend in terms of alliances and those who are a member. I mean, it's only one fight. I can't imagine things changing too much. But never underestimate the, the emo of gamers. Ronnie, try to end this battle right now. Eight seconds for Yangair wins this battle. Oh, got it down to five seconds. FSK says you're going to drag this out until the very last second. 30% buff for the next one minute and five seconds for Yangair. Makes me wonder, are they coming in through this way? They're not. They're just coming through the non spawn side. More or less. Here we go again. Eight seconds remaining before Yangire wins this battle. Four seconds. And congratulations to Yangire for successfully defending their SR grade fortress. Congratulations to Sad Potato for taking the number one spot for Yangire and Han for taking the number one spot, although number four overall. Here are your stats. Wow, outplayed. I wouldn't say they were outgunned, but they were outplayed. FSK was definitely outplayed. But that was a good SR battle fight. For Yangair, at least. FSK couldn't even get into a gate. Couldn't bring down a gate defensive tower. Just nothing. He's had no momentum going at all. Some dashes there. A lot of dashes there on FSK's side. And there are your stats, ladies and gentlemen. And checking out Redemption won that fight. Congratulations to them and congratulations to Yangair. There are your co-main fights right there. Transcendence one, Ataraxy still going against Impact. Well, well, actually, they have like five minutes left, so. Red Devils versus Korea still going. That's got some spectators for sure. Anonymous BR won their battle. Potatoes, congratulations. Omega Squad, we already knew they were going to win. This one's still going. Oblivion one, Unruly one. Olympus, Sinners Paradise, Royal Club. So a nice little mixture of back and forth of who won and, and who did not. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. And hit me up on Discord or Twitter. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you again.